Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And I realized something that uh, I feel kind of silly about. I talked about starting the process of building the ice farm, but... Uh oh uh, I never actually showed you what it looked like when I finished. And I've been up here since... And uh, so I feel kind of silly. Snowballs. We'll see what that's for later. You can't put beds on glass, which is weird. So I can put it here, though. Awesome. Uh, not that I'll need it tonight, I don't think. Eh, maybe. It is ice farm. So I've got a chest here with a bunch of ice in it. Let's go get some more. So, I mean, it just it's super easy to harvest. And as I said, when I was talking about the design, the pick doesn't instantly mine either the piston, the piston heads, or the blocks of snow that I have the thing lined with. So I don't have to worry about accidentally poking a hole in things. So I can just go along and do this. Now, of course, I'm using a silk touch pick here so that I can actually get the ice blocks. If I blow, broke one of these with, with anything else, so with the regular pick or my hand or whatever, it would turn into water, which is cool because there's no way that I could have four stacks of water buckets in my inventory. But I have four stacks of ice in here now. So I'll be using these later pop 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 and then to refill all I do is I throw the switch plop. It, it pulls up the uh, piston heads and then when it starts filling from the corner like that I can put it back down and now it all start to freeze again it's pretty cool but right now let's go to bed and I wanted to do that mostly because Um, I want to do this next bit during the daylight and I didn't want to wait around all night so we'll let that go now I have explored on camera kind of over this way and around and I have gone somewhat the other direction back behind that way but what I hadn't done was go out this way over the water so that's what we're going to do here. Let me eat before we jump off here. And so apparently if you if you go up and down at the right angles you can actually maintain altitude pretty good and you can fly pretty much as long as you want but it's all about the right getting the right angles and to me it's very disconcerting trying to fly in first person because you can't actually look at what's below you while you're flying, otherwise you start to go down. Oh, come on. Oh. So, I was uh, talking about needing or wanting to find a sunflower plains so that I could find some sunflowers and look what I found over here. Along with some horses, more horses and donkeys. Hi donkeys. So I found a sunflower plane. These are my first sunflowers on the server that I've seen. 
Um, and I didn't collect any of them. I kind of I kind of flew out this way a little bit just to see what was out here, and uh, saw this and turned right back around because I wanted to get it on camera. So uh, the nice thing about these is if you have some bone meal, and you you hit them with the bone meal, they throw off more sunflowers. So they're actually completely renewable, um, unlike unlike. Uh, the short flowers, all these two tall flowers will, will when you bone meal them, will give you more of the same flower. And these things are good for yellow dye. And you get two of them out of it. Because it's, oh, I didn't really need to do that. But that's fine. So, um, I only really need to collect one of these. And then I can always plant it and just bone meal it to get as much as many of the flowers as I want. Uh, but I need yellow dye for the gold farm. And I've been wandering around and picking dandelions because they turn into yellow dye. And you can bone meal the dandelions in the savanna biome. And I think other biomes, they'll grow pretty much anywhere. Uh, but you know, you get, it's like one bone meal, maybe you get one or two of them if you're lucky, maybe three. Um, but here, and that gets you one or two die, but here one bone meal will guarantee you a couple of die and you don't lose the original flower. So yeah, I can just, I can go plant some of these inside my base. I can put them on that empty floor that I have and, uh, and just start bone mealing I can build a little flower machine and start bone mealing these and the rose bushes and the, uh, what are the other two? There's, um, peonies. What's the other one? The other one is, uh, I want to say jasmine, but it's not, uh, lilacs. And they're all good for dye, different types. So yellow dye is not that hard to come by in the game, but... Uh, I do need a bunch of it. And so I have zero problem picking up multiple stacks of these things right now and planting some in a place where I can bone me a lot more. I could take a, I could take it into the nether. I could bet these things, I could plant these in the nether in the place where I'm building. And oh. And, uh, and get my dye right there on the spot. I have to check and see if I have enough glass for what I'm trying to do at the moment, but it's neither here nor there. I have sunflowers now, I'm very happy about this. So I want you to see that. All right, it's about noonish. We'll, mm, come here, come here. I don't wanna be completely obsessed and take all these, uh, okay. So I, this is the farthest I've been out this way. So let's uh, let's see what else we got. Oops. And I I thought that was a village over there. So yeah, so I wanted to show. Oh, we run into ocean. Oh, more dogs over there. Nice. Or more uh, wolves. Very good. We like wolves. We like dogs. Woohoo. Okay. No signs of an ocean monument. So we'll, we'll just walk a little bit. I don't have too much else to show you today. Um, one other thing that we'll cut to when I get back home. But uh, for the most part, just trying to gather up supplies to continue working on gold farm build the collection platform is the main thing I need to do yet and uh, yeah so I'll probably spend some time tonight off camera working on that uh, while watching the last two episodes of stranger things on Netflix because I have not finished that series yet and everyone keeps posting things about it on social media so I want to actually get through it so I avoid spoilers I've already gotten a couple I'm not super happy with but you know that's the way it goes more horses in the water see these guys need to be able to swim 
even if it's slowly. The other thing that'd be really nice is if the Elytra, if I could easily take off from the ground. I don't wanna, I haven't practiced with the, with the little punch bow trick. Uh, and the reason I haven't is because I have a feeling that's gonna get taken out of the game. They're gonna fix the bug where you can shoot mobs in the back of boats. Um, and that's, that happens for this, whoa. That happens for the same reason that, uh, oh no, these were the same ones I saw earlier. Hi, how are you? Um, do I have to have an empty hand? Oh, you got to throw me. Whoa, I've never heard that noise before. Oh, he's going to be stubborn, but what do you expect from a mule? No, no, where, where do you think you're going? There we go. Um, yeah, donkey. I can't really ride you back, though. I don't know why I bothered spending the time taming him. But I like the fact that they have storage, right? Or, yeah, they have storage here. Okay, maybe I'll come back for you. I know where this is. So, what was I talking about before I got distracted? Oh, hello. Oops. Put the torches back down on the bar. There we go. So yeah, uh, Stranger Things I think I was talking about. So I need to, I need to go watch the rest of that. I've really been enjoying it, but uh, I have two more episodes to go. It's super creepy. Um, I don't normally, horror films don't really scare me or creep me out that much. There have been, uh, there have been a few, um, and this is definitely going into that category. Ooh, hole in the ground. Uh, so that's, uh, that's definitely, I don't know that I don't, you know, I don't live for, ooh, super creepy horror film, but, uh, I, I do... It's super effective. Um, it, it is a very creepy movie. Or a very creepy show. Um, so I'll be watching that. And um, I got I got something in the mail today. It's the uh, Adafruit Circuit Playground, which is cool little microcontroller development board that they came up with. It's based on, or it's similar to, I think they call it the Flora. It's a circular board. It's got big old uh, holes, uh, connectors, soldered terminals, whatever you want to call it, on the, around the edge so that you could sew it into clothing with conductive thread and make it uh, work. But it's got all kinds of cool stuff built into it to sort of be a good all-around introduction to microcontrollers. It's got a microphone and a speaker so you can make it uh, sound reactive or play music. It's got a thermometer, like a temperature sensor on it. I think it's a little thermistor. Uh, it's got a light sensor so you can actually have the thing measure the color of light and then it's got a ring of LEDs around it, and then you can have them light up to be the same color as the light falling on it, which is kind of cool. Uh, so I want to play around with it, and it's got a couple buttons, and it'll switch, and so it, it's kind of meant to be kind of an all-around introduction to microcontroller programming, uh, which is really cool, but it seems like it should be a lot of fun to play with. And it's got a little battery connector on it for a, for a uh, lithium polymer battery. I got a lithium polymer battery to power it. But, uh, of course, charging those is a little bit of a pain. Uh, so they also have a USB LiPo charger, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, that's weird. So I think, 
Oh, there's my other piece of glass. Yay, don't get to don't have to throw it away. Uh, so the the USB thing, it literally the board just plugs into a USB port and then you plug the battery into the other side and then and it charges it up. And the little lipos get used in a lot of things now. You see it on a lot of the smaller radio controlled drones, quadcopters. They use these types of batteries. So this charger should be useful for other things, and the charger was cheap. It was like five bucks, I think. So that's pretty cool. But one, one pretty awesome thing was when you, uh, on the outside of the, woohoo, and nothing spawned here. I just want to make sure nothing spawned on the bed, because um, that would be bad. So the outside of the box had a big old sticker on it that said, "Do not, ex do not pack or do not load or ship." or if damaged because lithium polymer batteries have a uh, kind of a bad reputation for catching on fire so it's a little dangerous uh, to ship them in fact you're not allowed to take them into the cabin on an airplane and you're not allowed to uh, I think you have to declare them when you ship them by the mail and so <laughs> that's why they put this thing on it which it occurred to me Wow, the, the smart thing that they could you could do, you can treat this as a pro tip. If you want to order something from a company that happens to sell LiPo batteries, and you want to make sure that they handle the box carefully, just order and have a, have a LiPo battery as part of your order. The small ones are cheap. You can get them for less than 10 bucks. And then they'll put this little sticker on the outside of the box and the UPS people will take better care of your box than if it weren't for the battery on the inside. Or at least that's what it seems to me. I haven't tested this, but that seems uh, seems to be the way it works to me. Ooh. <laughs> Hi guys. Okay. Cool. Let's go back home. I'm going to uh, grab some supplies and then I'll see you when I get back to the gold farm. Hey everybody, welcome back. So I've got uh, I'm in I'm in the on the roof of the Nether here. The gold farm's up there, and I've got some glass. I think I have more than enough glass here. I'm gonna grab some. I'm, this isn't gonna be super super productive. But uh, I did want to get started on something. Um, that's all I really need to get started. Should have done this a while ago when I still had dimensions and stuff fresh in my brain. But, oh, wait. That's the other thing I wanted to grab. Two things to do here. Uh, yeah, good and good. And we don't need all this stuff right now. These don't really do me any good here, neither does this. So we can put those down here and this down here. And this we're gonna split up in like that. Alright. Let's climb up to the uh, to the farm. I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are up on the AFK platform, and I think, based on what I'm seeing here, I think I want this platform to be down a little bit. I think so. Um, part of uh, the challenge here with the uh, with getting so I'm going to do it like this. I think uh, part of the challenge with getting a chain reaction sustained, I think, is that the pigmen have to see you. They have to be able to actually see you, and um, so a pigman can be aggro towards you, but if they don't see you and they don't see a way to get to you, they won't. I think that's what's going on. So, um, so I'm hoping that from here, although I won't be able to see all the guys in the back, I can see more of the ones down here. They can see me, and I think their head needs to be able to see my head. Um, I won't test this too much right now, but I think that's what's going on. 
So do this, do this. Let's just put this, and I have this all slabbed up here so the pigman can't actually, when I climb up, I won't climb up and find a pigman already on the platform, which wouldn't be too bad as long as they're not aggravated at me. Uh, but the, you could just push them off. They don't mind that. You can push them around and push them to their death, and they, and they don't seem to mind that. Um, it's just when when you shoot them. And of course, I grabbed some snowballs, put them in my ender chest. But of course, silly me, I didn't uh, I didn't actually bring my ender chest with me. Uh, so that's dumb. So I was going to test throwing lobbing snowballs at them. Since I have a snow farm, I should be able, like, I could put a chest up here with a bunch of snowballs in it, and, like, I could put it right there. And that way it'd be covered, and it would still open and all that. So, anyway, the other thing that I wanted to do was, we are, I think the bottom, this bottom layer is at, like, Y240. So we're about six blocks above it. And... What I want to do is, what's the easiest way to do this? Um, I want to go down to, I want to go down a bit, more than a bit. Am I able to, nope, oh, oh we'll do it this way, I got it. So I want to go down to about Y210. And that's where I want to put the floor for my for my collection area. And because the pigmen have 20 health. So we're looking at 217 here, down a few more. Uh, the pigmen have 20 health. So they have to drop four blocks to start taking fall damage. It's 211. That's two. Wait, where's the dividing line here? Wait, I'm on it's 211. So, here I'm looking at 212. Oh, looking at 2. So, this block here. Okay, let's go down a little bit. Sorry, I should not have started my rationale discussion. This is 210 here. Looking at 212. I keep looking at the wrong value in the F3 screen. I keep looking at the Y value, which is where my head is. So here, but I should be looking at the looking at value. So this is 210. So I'm looking at 211. So this is temporary. I want to make sure I capture these ladder pieces and then Take out this, take out this. All right, so this is 210. This is the level I want my my collection floor to be. Yes, you can't see much from here, but. Okay, so rationale. Pigmen have to fall. Four blocks to start taking fall damage and then they need to fall um, 20 blocks to kill them. And they don't come up with armor. Now, they might be zombies that ha are wearing boots that might protect them a bit uh, so it's it's possible that they may need more than that so I put a couple extra blocks in just to be safe and so I'm gonna go lay out a circle out of this yellow glass that's why I need a yellow dye I like the way the yellow glass appears against the nether against the background it's nice and visible. It's a nice high contrast thing. And so I had 32 blocks here. I'm just going to go out till the end of it. And this should be right underneath that block in the farm. Yay! So from here we can actually see it. That's awesome. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to lay out the four directions. And of course this one will be one short. Uh, but that's not not critical. And, and then I will, and this will be just off camera time while I'm watching bad TV or watching more Netflix or something along those lines, building out this circle 
and then we'll figure out where the drop areas are where the where the pigmen fall to their death and we'll put in some hoppers and some start to build our collection system so i want to go and build this to a um I'm going to go into an item filter and grab from the item filter. I want to grab the gold ingots and the gold nuggets and a while from here. So I can just barely see the chests down at the bottom there. Awesome. Uh, filter out the gold. Maybe the zombie flesh, maybe not. Uh, basically, then everything else that the item filter doesn't pick up needs to go into a lava pit. Just because I don't want all those swords. I can't use them. And uh, they're not... Uh, they're not good. So anyway, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch this, but that is... Let's see here. How do I... Uh, I'm going to grab this ladder just for now okay and then I want to grab I want to put in this that counts as one I'm gonna dig that one out again so I want to go another 31 blocks out this way of glass so that's the plan I'll stick it in here put a little sorting system so I can ditch the swords and stuff and then I need to figure out the situation with the experience um, uh, that I have ice I can put in some ice paths and then I have enough slime that I can then build little slime launchers to push the experience from the four pickup areas into the middle here or at least in theory I should be able to and um, let me reconstruct this up and then the ladders and then I'll figure out if I can get them to bounce up to the AFK platform that's the general idea and then when so when uh, when I hit these guys instead of having to travel all the way down to the ceiling of the nether here I can instead just come down to this platform much less of a trip to go up and down and when I get rid of the uh, swords ditch them into uh, ditch them into lava then I can reduce the entity count by quite a bit so that I can stay up in AFK longer and if the gold is getting picked up in a in a hopper system with chests I don't have to worry about that despawning uh, the only thing I'd have to worry about despawning until I build the experience collection system would be the experience balls. So anyway, just wanted to start off that. Woohoo! Alright, so I'm going to put this stuff back. As I said, I'll work on that. I'll work on that and a couple other things tonight while I'm watching watching TV just working on stuff I also want to start building just a mob farm because I don't I have I have bones that I picked up from killing skeletons but I don't have the quantity of bones that I would like to have so uh, I will I would like to get a, a supply of that and I think I came across a skeleton spawner at one, some point while mining but it seems a little out of the way It'd be nice and convenient if I had found one near the zombie spawner that I'm using as my zombie purifier, but not to there. So, anyway, that's it. Hope this was shorter than the last the last couple episodes, but uh, I just wanted to show a couple things, and uh, I will work on them some more, and hopefully make better progress in the future. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.